hey, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jillian and I create homeschooling, motherhood content here on YouTube. But I am currently pregnant with baby number three. So we're gonna have some pregnancy baby content coming too. So if that's your thing, stick around and subscribe. But today I'm gonna share all of the baby names on our list that we love and might use. So at this point, we do not have a name picked out. But we do have plenty of time. So at the time I'm filming this, I'm 12 and a half weeks pregnant, which is crazy. Today's October 3rd. Yeah, October 3rd. Having said that, we're gonna jump into the names. And it's funny, I've been so excited to film this video, but now that like today's the day I had set aside for it and it's happening, this feels very vulnerable and I'm a little nervous. But it's time to get into it. First up, let's do boy names. My absolute favorite boy name, like my all-time favorite boy name right now is Shepherd. I just love this name so much. It's an occupational name. I just think it's really strong. I think Shep is the cutest nickname ever. And if Jeremy comes around and this baby is a boy, <laughs> we might use it. The next boy's name that I really love is Ari, spelled like A-R-I-E, or even just A-R-I would be cute, but it means Lion of God. Um, I just think it's really sweet. I think it's easy to say. I think it goes with our other kids' names, but my husband just does not like it. He thinks of Bachelor Ari um, every time. He like can't disassociate, so I get it. I love the name Gardner. I can't tell if it feels more masculine or feminine, but I think Gardner would be so cool. We also really do love gardening here, and obviously there's like a gajillion gardening metaphors and all of that that would be so beautiful. Um, so I have it on my boys list right now, but comment below, would you use Gardner for a boy or for a girl? <laughs> and I'm sure some of you will be like, not at all. So the next name on my list is Riser, R-Y-S-E-R. -E there are two people that I follow in the social media world that have named their kids this, and I just think it's a really cool name. I think it's not very common, obviously, but it's easy to say when you see it, you know what it says. So it's one of those names I feel like that's in the sweet spot of it's not common, but it's also like, you know what it is. You know how to say it when you see it. The next boy's name is Rhodes, R-H-O-D-E-S. And this means where roses grow. So my mom's main name is Rose. And I've always thought that that was really pretty, um, like to be able to use that name with our kids' names at some point. And so when I saw that Rhodes meant where roses grow, I just thought it would be a sweet nod to that side of our family. My husband really likes this name. My only, the only reason I'm not super obsessed is because Haley Bieber's skincare line is Road. Maybe it's without the S, Rhodes or Road, which is totally fine. I just feel like it's gonna start getting more popular. And obviously like our son's name is Luca, which has definitely gained popularity since we named him that. So it's not like we're totally against it, but it's just something I'm thinking about. But Rhodes, I, I'm pretty sure, I think it's safe to say that's my husband's favorite boy name on this list. So who knows, maybe we'll use Rhodes. The last boy's name I have on my list is Titus. I just feel like it's a strong name. I feel like I should delete that. Now that I look at it, I'm like, meh uncommon it's biblical obviously i do really like the book of titus so i don't know i don't think we'll use that one but there's something about it i'm like it's it stayed on the list so far okay so now into girl names first name we almost named karis this we actually when i was pregnant with her we called her this name for a few weeks to like test it out so the name is davy i know it's not everybody's thing obviously Yes, Davy, like Davy Crockett. I just think it's the cutest name for a girl ever. The reason we didn't use it for Karis, Jeremy loves it, I love it. The only reason we didn't use it is because the rest of our girls' names on the list at that point were super feminine and girly. And so I was just playing out the scenario. Like if we have four more kids and they're all girls, and so we have Luca and Davy, and then a bunch of like super girly names, I didn't want Karis. Like I didn't want that baby to have the only masculine sounding girl's name. I think I would spell it D-A-V-E-Y, but you could also spell it D-A-V-I-E, which would make it look a lot more feminine, I think, if that was more your thing. So I love Davy. Next name, I'm keeping this on the list for me, but we will not use this name. It's Maple. Jeremy just couldn't, he couldn't do it. Hymns that are just words he doesn't love. So he was never really on board with that one, but I do think it's really cute because I can picture like a baby Maple and also picture like how cute would Grandma Maple be in 50 years. I just think that would be really precious. 
Okay, the next name on my girls list is Windsor and using the nickname Winnie. I, I know I'm not sharing the meanings for all of this. I was gonna look for this one thinking it would help a little bit, but it means riverbank with a winch, which like leaves some to be desired maybe, I don't know. Next up is Holland or just Holland and like drop the D. And that's actually one of our top contenders for this baby if it's a girl. Next girl's name I have is Posey like a little bunch of flowers. I think Posey's very sweet. I would spell it P-O-S-Y, but you could also do the I-E ending. Is there a name that you could nickname with Posey? I'm sure there is. Tell me if you think of a name right now that you could use Posey as a nickname because maybe that's what should go on my list. I saw this name on Pinterest very recently, like in the last week, and I just thought it was so cool. Next name on the girls list is Kindred, like a kindred spirit. I just think that's so cool. I think you could, I think Kindred is really cool, but I think you could call her Kinney. No, I could just picture like a little, like sweet baby girl named Kindred. I could picture Grandma Kindred. I just think it is a solid name, but it also sounds, I feel like it's a pretty strong girl's name, Kindred. The next girl's name is Honey. I think it's so like sweet, no pun intended, but in Berenstain Bears, which my kids really love, the baby bear is Honey. And obviously like she's a bear, so I get why they used it. But I do think it's really cute. Little baby honey, grandma honey, I can picture it. Sadie Robertson named her daughter honey. Um, and I feel like people are using it more. So I feel like if we used it, it wouldn't be that out there. The next one is Harbor. It's a noun, so my husband's like not a huge fan of it. I don't remember where I originally heard Harbor, but I have seen other people name their daughters this, and I really like it. It's not super, super girly. I feel like it's a strong, like powerful name for a little girl. We'll see what we end up using, but those are the baby names we have. Like I said, I'm only 12 and a half weeks. So I would imagine that I'm gonna have a pretty different looking name list in the next few months as we keep looking at names and start sharing with family and all of that that we are expecting. If you want a part two, let me know. It's, let me know if you have used any of the names on this list um, or what you think of them. I'm super curious. There will definitely be more baby content coming, so make sure you subscribe if that's your thing, and I will see you in the next one.